Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Thank you. So, um, yeah, so let's let's do one more activity, which is uh, let's suppose we have to set up an alert. Um, so that if any any time user root user logs in uh, it should send us a mail or something right so let's do that so how do we set up an alert let's go to cloudwatch okay i'm going to set up an alarm Okay, so on this we'll go to matrix. Yeah, this box on the top is quite irritating. Okay. So I have the screen share box on my top, which I'm trying to minimize. Okay, so over here we go to explorer. Okay, so we have to create a matrix. Go to matrix first. Okay, let's select any of the logs. Oh, group matrix color something something I have to create one matrix okay so let's first create a log group I want to create a matrix right go to log Let's see, I want to check this. This I want to action create metric. All right, over here I can write the filter pattern. Sorry. I can write the filter pattern that, okay, what I want to do is that every time user logs in, then I should be notified or through a mail or so. So what should be the pattern? Pattern looks like this, okay? What is this pattern is about? It says that if user type is root and user identity is invoked, not exist, and it's an AWS service, then run this pattern. So like custom log to test data, yeah, let it be. And next. Okay, enter filter name. Filter name will be root user logs in okay and then right and then over here what we have to do is we have to write so we have defined a log metric we have given a filter pattern now on the assign metric we have written a filter name okay all looks good Over here, I would say, okay, on the matrix name, I have to write a metric name. And in this metric name, I would write, uh, let's say, cloud trail metric. So, cloud trail metric. Okay, on the metric name, I can write um, anything which I want. Let's say, root account login. Matrix value, which should be the value, uh, you know, 
you know anytime one what should be the default value um we can skip the default value that's okay so when we are done we can click next and this will happen we'll say okay create filter metric okay so our one of the metric has been created over here now what this metric will do is this metric will check if any any time um, you know you have a any time you have a root account logged in then this metric will trigger okay we also want that whenever this metric triggers then uh, one more sorry whenever this metric triggers then an alarm should be generated so what we will do is we'll create an alarm for that okay so on the filter there should be an alarm okay when we select that select this and then there's a create alarm okay so wait for some minutes okay statistics statistic needs to be um yeah we have to define an alarm over here so root account now over here we will create an alarm we'll have to see the statistics uh what should be the statistics yeah it should look like great it looks like some yeah all looks good some five minutes static anonymously uh greater than or greater than or equal to threshold and that threshold is okay and then yeah all looks good then go next over here i'll say user topic here and all sorry use an existing topic which is a for us as s3 bucket triggered which will send us an email if a user logs in next write your alarm name uh, root user logs in okay and then next and then create alarm okay so this is a mechanism in which well, what you can do is you have set up a root uh, so so that every time a root user logs in you will be notified through a mail right so whenever right now it's an insufficient slowly it will come to a, a alarm or an okay state so whenever it's an alarm state it's going to send you the alarm so it is very important uh, guys because if you have multiple root users right you really wanted to know that if my root user has not been logged in from some other place you are the only one who is doing a login because you are the root user of your own account so we really wanted to make sure that the root user is is only one on the one account and um, which has been followed and which is you know which has been only one user at one time and the same user has not been logged in from multiple location right so we don't we just wanted to uh, monitor that and for that purpose we create this alarm and to create an alarm we need to create a we need to select the log group any log groups we can select where you wanted to create this alarm on you select any of the log group because one of the log group or you can create a log group first and then on the log group you can create a matrixes but i selected the already available you know log group for us and then i created a matrix filter and on the matrix filter we you can create a matrix filter matrix filter you can you have to write this that if any time user entity type is root and it's not it's invoked uh, which is not exist and your event type is aws service event if it did happen and then generate an alarm or create an alarm on the top of it right so if this matrix triggers uh, or you have a user you know you have a two root user logged in from different locations or you whenever your user logs into the look you know, to the account you will receive an email through the sns topic okay hey viewers are you looking for formal training on sre practices take our sre program this course will teach you how to successfully implement site reliability engineering in the modern day 24 into 7 services Kick start your SRE training today. Contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box. Book your seats for the upcoming batches now. Okay. Something being set. So let's move to other topic.
okay meanwhile we move to the next topic uh right let me share you set of labs which you have to do like set of tasks which you have to do so i'll share the set of tasks on chat box okay these are four tasks first you have to create a cloud trail and push the logs to cloudwatch second task you have to create and enable a config and create a ec2 instance managed by system manager rule okay and you have to create this rule also when you enable the config you, third you have to enable guard duty and generate a sample finding from the same fourth you have to enable messy and analyze the bucket content after uploading this file so the file which i have shared with you guys it is a file you have to download this file which is a pdf file create a bucket upload it to that bucket and use your messy to analyze the content what's if there is a pci uh, you know pii information is available or not okay so those are the set of uh, labs you you will be performing but before we perform the lab uh let me share you one more stuff which is a best practices of secure security uh, you know se related to security with aws resources do we have a best practices as someone did ask so yes we do have a best practice and we do have a compliance standard which we will follow okay so if you go on google and write over here cis benchmark okay for aws cis benchmark um, aws okay press enter and then that will bring you this benchmark options over here can you click on if you click on that it will give you a set of uh, checks which you have to see while you are you are auditing your aws account so if you are doing an aws account you can see the cis benchmark which is free for everyone you can download that or you can just write cis um, aws okay right here security benchmark or security control cis aws foundation benchmark standards or security hub or you can say ci standard not benchmark but aci aws security okay like that and this will give you a benchmark or a standard over here cis aws benchmark controls okay so yeah these are the center of benchmark uh, you know set of benchmark controls for example avoid using the root account okay avoid the use of the root account critical the root account has unrestricted access to all the resources of aws account we highly recommend that you avoid using this account while you're performing to aws okay then how do you avoid it the set of steps okay how to create a filter and alarm for that that's what we saw okay then ensure multi-factor authentication is enabled for all iam users okay which is medium again what's the rule then 1.3 ensure credentials is unused for 90 days or greater are disabled then how do you do it ensure access keys are rotated every 90 days and then how do you do it similarly ensure i am password policy requires at least one uppercase right you have i am password policy and how do you enforce that okay ensure i am password policy requires at least one lower cases so these are set of actions over here so even if you want to do a practice for all the security benchmark you can also do a practice on the lab account which you hold you can implement this set of actions on your all ensuring like this is for security for iam then there's a security for cloud trail there's a security for s3 there is security for um, you know whatever we have learned so far these are the set of standards which should be followed and this is a configuration issues if you have any related to anything if you have a cloud trail configuration issue <laughs> sorry cloud trail configuration issues on your s3 buckets then uh, what has to be done okay what what cloud trail do a record of so give it i'll give you five to ten minutes just hover over the link and let me know if any of the content or topic or a benchmark control doesn't make sense to you okay just take your five spend your five to ten minutes to read all you know not all but have it a look upon on the controls you can go from by this or you can just on the right hand side you can see on this page what has been done the set of controls okay you can look upon over here this is a cis amazon benchmark you can download the benchmark from here as well this is one of the compliance standard 
which we used to see and follow to the account the other is your you can also see for pci pci aws security sorry aws security check mark or a checklist okay so it gives you a compliance aws checklist for pci dcs compliance standard okay this is also you can download and see for that it is aws pci compliance and it gives you a check mark you can download there will be a document for this as well so you can look for the pci dcs compliance check marks that's specific for aws okay so cis is also good similar type of there will be one or uh, one less or one more in pci standard as well so you have you, you use pcis or pci either of them to maintain a compliance on your account or a best practice in your account okay so hey viewers trying to get into devsecops and all for our devsecops certified professional programs and earn the certification that shows you are fit for these technical roles and requirements contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box book your seats for the upcoming batches now they're still facing issues let me take you to this um, how it has to be done okay i'm going to show you how you can the particular practical is uh, how you can escalate your privileges with iam right how you can um, so the scenario is where you have a user who have a security credentials the object is basically to delete the ec2 instance with using um, super critical security users okay so how you can how you can achieve that right so in this particular scenario let's say you have an iem security credentials which i have just uh, shared it with you right so we have to uh, first of all with those access key and secret key we have to create a profile and then with that profile we have to um, use the enumerate iam script to quickly verify that what we can do with the available security credentials okay so let me just go here and aws configure minus minus profile and this time i'll use this credentials which is over here copy uh, profile i'll write in a profile name sony sorry sony day four okay and then access key is the one which i've just copied and the secret key is the one which i've just uh, okay and i'll copy that part okay and then i'll paste it over here okay and us east one none okay clear and now what i will do is second thing you have to do is you have to uh, make sure that your you know your credentials um you have to run your enumerate im script to quickly verify what we can do to with this variable you know available credentials so um, i know i have created it um and uh, actually i left it to i left it with you uh, to get to the information of what it is um and if with these credentials i believe you would be uh, you would know the name already for the profile which has been created so i'll just look upon quickly go to my tab and see what user i have created with this so I'll go to IAM in my account to check what user I've created and given you access of. What was the username? So go to users. Okay, so the username I used is I'll go that with this. So the username I used to create this uh, particular lab is uh, having a name, but it do have uh, permission of describing an instance so what I will do is I will write a describe instance command over here okay so I'll write because I've given the permission so I know I'm making it ease actually uh, just to save the time but you uh, would know describe instances only when you um, when you run it right so when you run this this particular uh, command call enumerate iam.py that particular script will give you the list of actions you can perform and right now i'm saying hey call ec2 describe the instances where reservation instance has a tags and using a profile 
call Sony Day 4. Okay. So let me describe the instances if we if I do have one. Okay, give me the tags of this particular profile. Let's see what comes in. takes time oh yeah we get we got something on the screen we got sony day and then we got cloud go dime profile it says value these are the tags value so I'm, it says cloud code something super critical security server ec2 instances value these are the key values i am uh, privilege escalation by attachment scenario cloud code stack and so on okay so now once I have the information of uh, all the tags which has been associated with my EC2 instance, I can list instances profile, I can list the instances in order to, uh, you know, so basically over here, I, uh, what we have done is we have successfully verified the target service available in the AWS account. So we will go ahead and continue our enumeration. So as uh, I know that the user is Kerrigan, uh, we are allowed to retrieve information related to EC2 instance profiles. So what we will do is we'll we'll have an instance profile. Uh, so what what is instance profile basically? An instance profile is a container uh, for a single IAM role. So an EC2 instance cannot be assigned an IAM role directly, okay? But it can be assigned an instance profile which contains a role. So let's enumerate the instance profile available. So we will use a command to get the instance profile. Uh, so to to you to do the instance profile actions, we'll write AWS, okay, and then we'll write IAM, and then we'll write list instance, okay, and then we'll write profile, okay, and then we'll write um, we'll write the query instance profile which which has this value called CJ into it, okay, and then we'll use that profile. Or we can say profile. Okay, profile using Sony day. Four. Uh, list instance profiles. Okay, what I'm, what this command will do is uh, the this particular command will give you the instance profile, right? Which has been used to attach, uh, which is a container basically, instance profile, which is a container around the IAM role. So this IAM uh, user, you know, Carrigan, we are we are allowed to retrieve information related to IAM roles or not that we will see. But let's see first. We will find out the instance profile name, which has been used to um, integrate them together. So if you see that there is an instance profile name over here, which is CG EC2 Meek instance profile which has been used to attach your role with your ec2 instance okay so you have a role name now now you as you have a role name right you have a role name saying that cg ec2 you can see the role name on the top as well that this is a role name which has been attached to the ec2 instances right so as you see that there's a there's a role which has been attached now we can <clears throat> we can look for whether we are allowed uh, or we can we can look for this particular role with that with our profile. Okay, we can look for this role Whether this role is available or not. Okay, and what permission this role? Uh, this role occurs or what what permission this role have? Okay, so what we can do is we can we can just write the list roles command with our profile to list out the roles Okay, that too is specific to um you know see with the with the one which we have the gc to make or any role with which have a cg into it okay so to write that one or to list on the role we'll write aws iam list okay we'll write list 
minus roles okay and then we'll write a minus minus query okay query is a good option where you wanted to extract specific information so I'll say we wanted to extract the information uh, where role starts with role name CG and with the profile as um, Sony day 4 press enter wait for some time and it will give you the list of role names okay give me a second Hey viewers, our Master in DevOps Engineering program can help you to hone the skills necessary to succeed in high-level DevOps positions. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now and earn certification that show you are keeping pace with today's technical roles and requirements. Contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box. Book your seats for the upcoming batches now. Okay, so you see once I once I enter that I will be able to list all the IAM roles over here So I am role STS assume okay, and you see that List roles on the query where your CG is included and that role will give you the information that this is CG EC2 make role name is this Okay, this is an ARN and this has been the principal and this has been a statement Okay, the other role is this mighty role Okay, which is a different role and the assume role policy document is the same Okay, so we have two roles into it Okay, so we discovered that there are two roles into it Okay, one is uh, The uh, the CGC to make role and the other is CGC to mighty role. So there are two roles in the AWS account Okay, the keyword meek and mighty suggests that one role uh, may have more permission than the other so we have a meek and we have a mighty role so all the operation performed to enumerate the permission of these roles have um, if you, even if you try with that you will see that uh, all enumerating the permission of roles you will see that access has been denied so one possible way to figure out the permission of these roles is to attach them to um, to an ec2 instance and use the ec2 to enumerate the role permission okay so remember that iam roles can't be attached to EC2 directly. They have to be wrapped in an instance profile. So this method required us to be able to create and modify instance profile. So we can create an inst EC2 instance with an instance profile in the AWS account. Okay. So let's try and create an EC2 instance. Um, to create an EC2 instance that we we can use to enumerate the IAM role permissions. So we need to have two things. We need to have a subnet to start EC2 instance in. We need to have a security group that allows SSH access to the EC2 instance and we need an SSH key pair that we can use to SSH into the EC2 instances. Okay, so three things. One, a subnet to start EC2 instance in. Second, a security group that allows SSH access to EC2 instances. Third, an SSH key pair that we can use to SSH into the EC2 instances. Okay, so to do so, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to um, you know describe the instances uh, with the subnet but we need a subnet first so first we have to gather the subnet so to get to have a subnet on public instance what we can do is we can write this command um, saying AWS EC2 describe instance and then AWS EC2 describe instance and then on that we can write give me uh, the instance subnet okay so if we write that and query about this and write that give me instance and I'll write output output as text okay and then on output as text we'll write profile as Sony day 4 okay wait for some period of time and we'll see the subnet which we have to attach so we need a subnet first so to before we describe instance so we'll have a subnet 
and once we have a subnet we'll we'll try to gather the security group once we have a security group um you know we'll try to we'll try to attach a security group in an instance and then with that we can we can attach a new role to it okay so you have a subnet now similar command you will write for you have a you have a subnet you will write a similar command to um you know to grab to grab basically now we have a subnet okay so we next we need a security group as you remember we we have to gather uh, three things in order to create an instance and attach our role okay so first is the uh, you know the the inst uh, sorry first is to have a subnet second is to have a security group so similar command will write but instead of a, a subnet we'll just use a security group over here so i'll just use a security groups okay so here we'll write security groups okay output text and profile is the same and this way we'll get we'll gather the security group as well Okay, so we have a security group you can see that we have two security groups over here once we have a list of security group we can create next we have to do is we can create a, a key pair like we have we can create an ec2 key pair in order to grab you know um, in order to create a in order to create secure you know ssh key pairs and this ssh key pairs will be the one which we will use to uh, log in to the ec2 instance okay so let's create an EC2 instance. Sorry, let's create a key pair for EC2. So how do you create it? You write AWS EC2. Okay, create. You have a command called create new create key pair. Okay, so over here you can write create key pair. And then with create key pair, you will write a key name. So minus minus key minus name. Okay, and then you'll write a new key. Let's say new ec2 okay and then you will write um it's minus query okay and then you will write the key query name as key material okay and then you will write uh, output as text so that all your goes with output as text so all your key material goes in dump into new ec2 dot pem okay and then uh, which region i want to generate this at region us east one with profile as sony day four okay so it's gonna create a new ssh key for you so now see as i said we cannot attach role directly we saw that there were two roles one is meek and one is mighty we cannot directly use mighty role and there is only me you know meek role which has been attached to ec2 and as a result we are not able to perform any other stuff but we saw that there are two roles available because we are allowed to have a list of the roles like we can run a list list role command so as we were able to write a list role commands we were able to see um we are able to have a list you know we are able to have a um, list of the roles and now we saw that there are two roles one is meet and one is my mighty so we wanted to attach mighty role to an ec2 instances which is not possible because there is only one role which is attached to ec2 okay so if you have to attach a other role to your ec2 instance so that that ec2 you can con you can go into and can perform the actions okay so for that what you need to do is you need to create a subnet first so first you have to get the subnet second you have to get a security group and third you have to create a ssh key pair so everything is created you have a subnet here you have a security group here there are two security groups you have a subnet you have a security group okay and you have a key pair now all is set what the next thing you have to do is you have to create a ec2 instance on the same subnet you have to use a security group that allows ssh access you have to generate an SSH key pair, okay, for the authentication, and then attach your mighty to this, okay, which looks a lot of stuff to do. So, um, 
so you can create an EC2 instance and then that EC2 instance has to attach with the subnet which you have and uh, to do that you can you can run an EC2 command saying that AWS EC2 run instance then you can give an image ID instance type and instance profile okay any instance profile ARN and so on so basically we are not going to dig it more uh, because that will definitely confuse you into it but I over here on this particular pen test lab I just wanted to say uh, or show you two things that you can if you have multiple roles you can uh, if you have or, or if you have a multiple roles on your AWS account and you have uh, you have an access key and secret key who has a permission that that particular person or that particular uh, user can list the roles and can attach the roles then what you can do is you can create uh, you can change the role you can create the role you can change the role and you can even uh, you know you can change the role with the with your EC2 machine and with that EC2 machine you can consume the EC2 machine and from the EC2 machine you can perform the actions okay so that is what uh, the intentions were here it will not dig more but just wanted to tell you that the I am a part which has been integrated with one of the service and you have an access of two task service and that role then you can easily change the role to that service and then you can use the same service to perform the higher privilege accesses okay thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today